Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create dynamic staircase in AutoCAD. So let's get started. For the first step, create this two rectangle. The big one is for the landing and the other one is for the thread. And the hidden line section is provided for the node section. And I already provide some dimension for you. So please create this sketch first. It is quite easy. You can do it yourself. Now let's hide all these dimension. Now let's turn off this layer. Okay, we are going to create a block from this sketch. So select all this drawing and type B and enter. And let's give it a name, linear stair. And click on pick point. Our insertion point will be right at this point. And we are already created select the object. And don't forget to check on convert to block and check on open in block editor and click OK. Now let's add a base point parameter at this drawing. So let's choose base point and click on this insertion point. Now we are going to add some parameter at this drawing like linear uh, alignment and flip parameter. But before we do that, let me show you why we are going to add this parameter because uh, theory and concept is quite important in creating dynamic block. So let's close this block editor and save the chain. Now let's copy this object to the right side. Use the copy command. And let's place it right about this point. And now let's explore this. I just want to demonstrate some actions. Okay, when we are going to use this dynamic block, we may want to make a chain uh, just like uh, stretching the landing to the other side uh, by using this stretch command. Uh, we have to select this and stretch to the other side. Uh, we may want to stretch this to the uh, other side just like this. Uh, we may want to uh, use array to uh, increase the number of this step uh, by using the array command. Okay, just like this and click here. Okay, uh, we may want to uh, mirror this the whole staircase to the other side uh, by using the mirror command. So to do this all, we have to add some parameter and actions to the block. Then we can use this block anywhere we want. So let's edit. Now select this object and right click, choose block editor. Now let's add some parameter. Let's start from linear and click right here. And the second click will be right here and place the dimension anywhere you want. Now let's use one more time. And second click will be right at this hidden line. I can use this scene line because the scene line is represented for the nose. Now let's, uh, let's linear parameter. Click here and here and place the dimension right uh, at this point. You can place anywhere you want. Now let's add the flip parameter at the center. And now click on this uh, center of the geometry. And now second click will be at the left side and click here. And you can place the test anywhere you want. Now let's use the alignment parameter. Uh, click on this middle point and the second click will be in the other direction. And let's use alignment one more time and click on this middle point. And the second click will be at the uh, right hand side of it. Now we need to draw a symbol which show the direction of stair uh, to the upward. Let's start from the circle and click on this midpoint. And you can use free hand technique to make this. And let's use a line. Draw from this midpoint to this midpoint. And let's turn it into arrow shape. Okay, mirror this line. Okay, we got the symbol. Now let's land this distant tree. Uh, we need to change the distant type to increment. So go to property. And let's find distant type. Okay, it is here. And change it to increment. 
and we need to change the distance increment to one feet because we want to uh, copy this uh, thread at every one feet whenever we array it. Now let's apply some actions to the parameter. Let's start from the stretch action and select distance number one. And we have to click on the point which is associated with the stand number one. Let's choose this left hand point. Okay, now we need to make a frame for the selection. Let's click here. And let's make a frame up to uh, this point. Now we need to select the object that we want to stretch. Okay, let's land this stand one, two, three, and uh, this part of the geometry. Click here and right click. Okay, that's good. Now we need to add stretch action to these three parameter. I mean this uh, two parameter and this arrow symbol because I want them to move along with the distance one whenever we stretch it. Now let's use stretch action and select distance one and we need to click on the same uh, point, uh, this point. Okay, now we need to make a frame for the selection. Let's click right here and let's make a frame up to this point. Okay, now we need to select all these three uh, objects, this symbol, uh, this parameter, and this alignment parameter. Uh, do not select the distance number one. We don't need to select it. And right click. Okay, uh, but I want them to move only half of the distance number one because I want them to stay at the center. So uh, we need to select this action. And now right click and go to property. And let's the distance, change the distance multiplier to 0 0.5 and enter. Now close this. Now we need to test this uh, dynamic block for this action. So close the block editor and save the chain. Okay, now let's test this. Slash it and try to stretch it. Okay, all the parameter and symbol are moving along with this distance. Uh, that means our dynamic block is working perfectly for this action. Now select this and right click and choose block editor. Now let's use the stretch action one more time. And select this number two. And we need to click on the point which is associated with this number two. And click on this lower point. And now let's make a frame from this point to uh, this point. Now we need to select the object. We are going to select this lower rectangle and some part of the bigger rectangle. Let's start from uh, this point and select all these up to this point and enter. Again, we need to move this two parameter. I mean, flip number one and this alignment along with the distance number two. So we need to use the stretch action one more time and select the distance number two again. And let's click on the same point. Okay, let's make the frame from this point to this point. Now we need to select only this two parameter. So select it and enter. Again, we want to move this only half of the distance number two because I want them to stay at the center. So let's uh, select this the actions. Sorry, we need to select this action first and right click and go to property and let's change the distance multiply to 0 0.5 and enter now it is time to uh, test this action number two so close block editor and save the chain now let's learn and uh, try to stretch in the downward direction uh, by clicking on this stretch point okay this is working perfectly Okay, that's good. Now select it and let's go to the dynamic block. Now let's apply array actions to distance number three and select it. Now we need to select the object which is small rectangle and this uh, hidden line. Uh, we don't need to select any other things and right click. Now let's put the distance about 1 feet because our thread distance is 1 feet. So center to center distance will be also 1 feet. Now we need to add stretch action to the circle and symbol.
because I want them to stay at the start of the thread of staircase. Now let's use the stretch action one more time. Click here and select this distance number three and click on the same point. Okay, now we need to make the frame. Uh, let's make from uh, this point to this point. Okay, now we have to select saga and line. Uh, we just have to select this saga and line. Uh, we don't have to select the rectangle and other hidden line. So be careful with it. Now it is time to test this block. Confirm it and save the chain. Now select this and try to array it. Okay, this is working perfectly. Now let's undo and let's go to the block editor. Now for the last step, let's apply flip actions and select this parameter and now select all the object and right click. Now it is time to test all the actions together. Close block editor and save the chain. Now select this block and try to stretch right side and stretch back and stretch downward. Okay, now stretch it back. Okay, now now let's try to array it. Click here and let's add thread. Okay, all the actions working perfectly. Now let's try the alignment and hide the line which is already drawn. Let's click on this alignment and click on this line. Okay, this is working. And now select this and click on this alignment. And let's align on this. Okay, let's try to flip other side. Okay, all the actions are working perfectly. Now let's unhide the wall which is already drawn. Right click and choose an object solution. Okay, now let's align this stair on this wall. You can align any wall you want. And click here here and let's put it uh, to this end point and let's try this stretch action and let's add more thread and stretch it back okay all the parameter working perfectly okay now let's uh, insert this uh, step from the insert menu so let's type I in spacebar and click here and let's place it anywhere you want and select this alignment and let's align on any wall okay let's try those action one more time okay all the actions are working perfectly uh, you can align these uh, stay on any types of wall on any types of angle so that's all for today guys. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe my channel.